Scratch Bar Express. It is your girl Ash Cash, and I am back. Back, 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 back with another video today, you guys. And as you see by the title of this video, I will be doing vodka lemonades, y'all. I love me a good lemonade. And one video I did, it was Hennessy lemonades. So this time, I'm going to actually do some vodka lemonades, y'all. Now, this recipe, I'm putting, you can do this with just two ingredients, the vodka and the juice. But I'm going to add a little more alcohol to mine so to speak so you know it won't just be vodka and juice but if you just want to do vodka and juice strictly for this recipe that's all you you that's all you need and it's just simply two ingredients but i'm going to add a little more to my recipes you guys so i'm doing three vodka lemonades today um let me let you guys know what i got but before i actually let you know what i got make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel turn on your post notification get this video a big thumbs up and comment you know as you're watching the video let me know what you guys think have you guys ever made vodka lemonades do you got uh do you have a suggestive recipe for vodka lemonade just let me know okay all right so um i'm doing a southern peach lemonade and y'all i just i love calypsos that's why you always see me use calypsos if it's not like a welch's juice calypsos they have so many different flavors so those are my go-to um this everfreshes are my go-to as well this one i came across was actually a peach watermelon and i have the island wave lemonade calypso so let me just tell y'all what's inside of this one um so this one basically has some passion fruit in it it got some bananas in it oranges pineapples and it have apples in it as well so this one is actually super delicious that peach is delicious as well and we have some regular lemonade some sweet and sour and over here i got some peach schnapps so take a guess what the peach schnapp is gonna go in i have some pineapple rum take a guess what that's gonna go in Ooh. and i got some watermelon rum as well pineapple rum watermelon rum and peach schnapps and the vodka that we're gonna use today is going to be the Tito's Handmade Vodka. Um, this is a good vodka, guys, okay? I'm going to get a shot glass. You know what? I got a cup over here. So, I'm going to taste this vodka for you guys. And I think I used this. And I think I did a lemon drop martini with this. So, yeah, this is pretty good. I probably did um, a taste for this in that video as well. So, this is a good vodka. I started, if you want to go low in, you can use the, the Amsterdam vodka. I do not recommend this around all the time. But Amsterdam, you can, if you want to go low end, you could do Amsterdam. You actually get a bigger bottle for like a dollar cheaper than this little size bottle. Okay? All right. And so for my fruits, y'all, I have some pineapples, strawberries, oranges, peaches, lemons, and limes. Yes, it is a lot going on here, girlfriend. It's a lot. But, you know, we're going to make it do what it do. And I have some blueberries. And all of the fruit is strictly for garnish, y'all. So, I'm going to try to make the drinks look a little cute. All right. So, got a cup here. And we're going to go ahead and taste this vodka first and foremost. Let me turn my AC off once they get. Okay, y'all. So, I'm back. So, I had to wait on my AC to go off because the camera picks up everything. And I'm literally standing here right beside it. So, yeah. That wasn't going to be cute. All right. So, anyways. Let's go ahead and give this vodka a shot smells just like vodka if you know what I mean if you know you know all right <clears throat> this vodka is pretty strong y'all distilled six times and it's gluten free that's a good thing oh it's strong That vodka is doing too much. Okay, y'all. So, anyways, that's our vodka for today. That's our main ingredient that we will be using today. Well, that's the star of the show, Tito's Vodka. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put some ice in this cup. Um, I haven't decided which one I want to do first. Let's see. I think I'm going to do the... I'm going to do 
the island wave one first the purple okay so like that like i said it has like some i'm gonna put some orange slices in there because this supposedly have like some orange pineapples bananas in it so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna also let's see here i'm gonna throw a lime at the bottom as well and then i'm gonna throw a lemon down there too so we got some little festive festive little cups that's going to be going on here today. I'm trying to figure out which one I think is going to be my favorite. I really think that peach one is going to be my favorite because peach is so good. And if you never made a drink with peach schnapps, let me tell y'all. And I'm not going to fill it all the way up with ice y'all because I got so much stuff to put on the inside of here. So we're going to kind of leave half of it off so that way we can get everything incorporated in here okay now none of these i'm going to shake i'm not going to shake them at all so all right so with this one we're doing pineapple rum so first and foremost we're going to go ahead with our tito's vodka we're going to put that at the bottom all right and then we're going to throw some pineapple rum in there And we're gonna taste these after. And then, let's go ahead and do our island wave. All right, we're gonna put some lemonade on the top. Just a little bit. And then we're going to also take our sweet and sour and put that on the top. And y'all, I think I'm going to, I want this one to have kind of a little bit of color. The island wave is so light. I'm going to get some blue curacao. Be right back. So I'm back. I thought about it. The blueberries actually might give it some color because these are frozen. Now, if you get the um, dry blueberries, they might not give it any color, but the frozen ones, they, they kind of give the drink a little color. So we're going to put that in there. And as we let it sit to the side. It typically gives it more of like a little purple color. So throw your blueberries in there. And all my fruit done floated to the top. Because I got Chick-fil-A ice. So it's actually like small ice cubes. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and decorate that. We're going to let the blueberries sit in there and do what they do. So let's go ahead and put our pineapple on the side. Get a pineapple. Alright, so our garnish is going to be a pineapple. We we'll have a um, an orange garnish. We're gonna have a lemon garnish as well. Okay. All right. So that's our Island Wave lemonade. Mm. Can't tell y'all how that tastes right now. Okay, y'all. So next we are going to go ahead and do our peach lemonade one. So, just get some peaches in there. And I'm not going to do too much to this one. Because it's going to be about the top of this one. So, I'm not going to do too much to this one. Alright, so let's go ahead and start off with our vodka. And actually, let me put some more ice in this one. Alright, so I filled that one up. Alright, so let's go ahead and put our vodka in. Okay. And then we're going to come behind that with our peach schnapps. Okay. Okay. 
blueberries to the side. All right, so next thing we're gonna come behind it with our Southern Peach Lemonada. Oh, not you don't wanna open. Okay. Then we're gonna come behind that with a splash of lemonade and a splash of sweet and sour. And if you also want to give these more color, you can do um, you can use the parades on the inside. The parades definitely get them much um, more color. All right, so let's go ahead and garnish this one. All right, so I am going to garnish this with a strawberry. Going to throw some peaches on the top. I'm also going to put a lemon wheel on the side. I told y'all I think this one gonna be my favorite one. And we're gonna see some strawberries on top of that. Uh oh. As well. And I think I wanna go one more peach. Alright. So that's what we did to that one. So that's our peach, and I'm gonna set that to the side. All right, so next one, our last one, we are doing the peach watermelon. And y'all let me know so far which one are y'all feeling. So peach watermelon, okay. All right, so I'm gonna put a little lemon slice at the bottom of this one. And I'm going to do lime. Lime pairs well with watermelon. So if you notice, a lot of watermelon drinks have lime in them. Okay. Alright. So that's our garnish on the inside for that. So let's go ahead and go in with our Tito's Vodka. Ooh, I think I put a little bit too much in that. And then we're going to come behind that with our watermelon rum. Actually, y'all, let me... I'm going to put the juice in first on this one. And then I'm going to put the rum at the top. Okay? These juices are so light. So, definitely, if you want color to these, make sure you do a puree with them. A mixer. Alright. And let's come behind that with our lemonade. And the lemonade is just simply a splash because these juices are already lemonades besides this one. All right, and then go ahead and do our splash of sweet and sour. All right, so that is our peach watermelon lemonade. And we are going to garnish this with lime and peach. All right, we're gonna put a lemon on the side. So we have some lime, some peach, and some lemon. The peach is hiding. So we watermelon peach. All right. So that's our peach watermelon. All right, y'all, so I'm grabbing the drinks. Oop. They all be looking the same color too, don't it? So this is our Island Wave. This is our peach, Southern Peach Lemonade. And this is our peach watermelon lemonade. So let me tell y'all which one I think is my favorite. And I do think I would have liked to have given these more color. I thought the juice was actually gonna give them some color, but they didn't. So I think when I make these again, or either one of these again, I'm gonna add the puree in, because the puree is definitely gonna give me some color. So that way it can stick to the name. Like for the peach, I would do the peach puree so my lemonade can be a peach color. Uh, for the Island Wave, I would probably put the blueberries at the bottom because the blueberries will turn it purple so you don't even have to worry about that. And then for the um, 
watermelon I would probably do like watermelon um watermelon puree for that I'm gonna do a shot of blue carousel of this let's see here I definitely wanted the island wave to have some type of color to it okay something for color tell me it's island wave okay so I made that one blue okay y'all because I just wasn't feeling all of them being the same color so <laughs> that one is blue and that's our island wave all right so i'm going to taste this one first since i think this one is going to be my fave so let me taste this one let's see here like i said this is this peach lemonade southern peach lemonade Ooh, i'm gonna drink them all first and then let y'all know okay all right so this is the island wave And this one is the peach watermelon. Hmm. It's out of these two. This one is strong. But it's definitely out of these two. go with this one y'all the southern peach lemonade is the bomb okay I got the right amount of sweetness to it and alcohol with this one I can kind of taste the the watermelon raw makes it good though I don't know I like this one better okay and that's just that this one is strong like I said and you can taste the pineapple rum this one gonna sneak up on you okay anyways you guys so final look Doo -doo 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 -doo. all right so y'all definitely let me know which one of these you guys are going to uh, try to make. Um, like I said, if you want to add the color, y'all already know what to do. I already told y'all for all time. I ain't going to say it again. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> or y'all can just keep it simple and cute like this. And you know, lemonade is lemonade anyway. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to add color to your lemonade, do what you do. But anyways, you guys, so y'all let me know in the comments which one you are going to try, which one you think looks good and the best. Like I said, that peach lemonade, you better try it. The peach knot is, it gets the drink popping. I'm just going to say that, okay? It just gets whatever drink you make with and you put peach knots in it, it's gonna, that drink is going to be good anyway. So, y'all don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, like this video. We got more drink videos coming for you guys and it's official you guys i know we've been talking about the giveaway but it's official uh uh it's official it's official like your mama and daddy okay that the giveaway is going to be i'm going to so what i've been doing y'all is putting the basket together and getting little things for the basket and I don't want to announce what you need to do for the giveaway without me being able to actually post the basket. So I'm going to put it inside the community tab. So make sure you guys are looking at the community tab. I'm going to let you guys see the basket and see what it's... 
Oh, excuse me. And see what the basket looks like. So I'm going to post that inside of the community tab. Okay. So make sure you guys subscribe. And make sure you guys stay tuned for that. All right. My kids coming. I got to go. I hear them coming up the stairs. I got to go. Like this video. Comment. Subscribe. Bye.